Hello, I'm Bushra from QA Milestone and in this video, we'll install Cypress to exploit all the wonderful features it provides. As we have discussed, Cypress is heavily loaded, but still setting up Cypress is really easy. To give you a glimpse of what you would have to do with and without Cypress, this is without Cypress. Cypress has a much easier onboarding. A single command will install everything you need. Simply run this command in your project directory and you are done. But let's start from the scratch. These are the prerequisites. It's nice to have an ID. I will be using Visual Studio Code which is great when working with JavaScript. You can download Visual Studio Code from here. And we'll be using npm and npx to install and run Cypress. npm and npx are downloaded along with Node.js. You can download Node.js from here. Let's now create a project to hold our test. Now go ahead and open this project in Visual Studio Code. We'll open the terminal and we'll run npm in it to create package.json. Package.json file is used to manage your project's dependencies. Here we have it. And now finally it's time to install Cypress. We'll be installing Cypress in our project folder as Cypress is npm package. So all you gotta do is run this super simple command npm install cypress this will install cypress desktop app and cypress cli So our Cypress has been installed successfully. Let's go ahead and launch Cypress desktop app. npx Cypress open. All these steps have been documented in this blog post. This is Cypress GUI. It will list all the test files that we have created. Well, we haven't created any so far. And these are just the sample tests that Cypress downloads for us to get a hang of how to work with Cypress. Let's run one of them. This new window in which the test runs is called Test Runner. So our test has completed. Well, this pane is called command log and we have got application preview here. This is the header and we have got selection playground here. 
so when you hover over a command like this let's spin it the application preview will show you the state of the application when that command ran you can toggle between the before and the after view so if you look closely the text has been entered here And in the before view, it is empty. And the selector playground helps you to identify elements. You can copy it and use it in your script. Now in the next video, we'll understand the project structure and we'll write a first ever Cypress test. So see you there.